Hey, what's up, guys? Brandon here, and uh, this is a whirlwind barb. He's gonna be a pit runner. Uh, I don't know. I just got sort of uh, in the mood to create a whirlwind barb today, and so I was kind of theory crafting something. But um, yeah, here he is. This is Thrall. He was my frenzy barb. He's now a whirlwind barb. Uh, I decided to use the steel pillar warpike spear. I've never used this weapon before, and I had one, and I was like, yeah, let's check it out. Let's give it a shot. So that is the weapon. It needs to put a shell in it, because it needs more attack speed for World 1. Um, I have to basically <laughs> get a use a socket quest from another character. I don't even know if I have any more. <clears throat> and I didn't want to have any cold damage on this build, so I had to go through my charms make sure I didn't use any that had cold damage or anything like that, so I can hork every single body I kill in the pit. Um, and double angelics, lots of attack rating. So you can see the whirlwind uh, attack rating is about 95% chance to hit, at least to fall in. Um, laying of hands, 350% damage to demons, fire resist. Pretty cool. I mean, I thought, oh man, I wanted, I really wanted mana stolen, but eh, I don't know. I think this is too strong. Uh, I'm using I up to a string of ears to a spiderweb sash. Uh, has damage reduction, life steal, uh, magic damage reduced flat, and I thought that paired nicely with the Gladiator's Bane, which is my armor. I put a jewel with all resists in it, and I think something else. It looks like faster hit recovery. And that's where I get my Cannot Be Frozen, so I don't have to use the Raven Frost that has the cold damage on it. Uh, area its face with an um in it. Just the Angelics, both the Angelics for my attack rating. Uh, Gore Riders. And then how I allocated my skill points, pretty straightforward. Whirlwind, maxed. One point into a Berserk for the, uh, for the physical immunes. Um, spear Mastery, since old Steel Pillar Warpike is a spear class. Uh, just one point into the increased stamina, increased speed. Uh, one point in Iron Skin, Natural Resistance. Uh, my War Cries, so max battle orders. Max Shout, pretty pretty sturdy, tanky boy. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so find out him. It's about, you know, 30% right now. And it'll be boosted a little bit by battle orders, but it's no big deal. So yeah, and then on Switch, double isted Blade of Alibaba. I still need to find two more ists. <laughs> I guess I made some stuff and I used all my ist runes and my mal runes. So he's just under, with all of his stuff, just under 200, or a 300 magic find. But once I find two more ist runes, he'll be about three, a little bit over 350. But um, he performs pretty well, I'd say. I don't know. I have to get used to doing the, like the short, the short spins in the triangle. See, I wish I had the mana leech, that'd be really handy. And then we can just swap over and do a little bit of this stuff. And that's that. I want to do like just a lot of pit runs with this guy. Seems pretty fun. Oh, bring it on. This will be fun. Oh, not even in the pit. Just having a jolly old time. Another reason I like this weapon is I wanted a weapon that was indestructible, because there's nothing worse than having to repair your weapon, you know? Especially when you are whacking stuff a lot, being a zealot or frenzy barb or something. We're going to be doing a lot of hork in here, I tell you. But yeah, so I'm going to do just a ton of pit runs. I don't want to do like just a 100 run video. I'm probably going to have this like a long-term project where... I guess I could just use Berserk for that, but whatever. Be a lot of stuff here. The cool thing about the Blade of Alibaba is not only am I gonna look for items, I'm also gonna get like a lot of extra money out of the corpses, you know? Come on now, let me be. I'm just treasure hunting over here. Jeez, man. Well, yeah. Hopefully it pans out well. Hope it works. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah.
this is what I'm going to work on. Another little side project, so down the line you'll see it. Grab some of that cash, some of those dollars, those gold coins. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Memorial Day. Thanks for uh, watching. All the best to you. See ya.